What up, YouTube? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build this um, F-22 Raptor style starship today. We'll break it down and build it from the bottom up to give you guys a nice, easy to follow build guide. Um, holds max crew, has maximum jump range, max mobility, 150 speed. So let me go ahead and break it on down and then we'll get started. All right, before you get started building this, you're going to need to pick up a couple specialty parts. We're going to be using Slayton Aerospace 4330 engines. You'll need to pick up six of these from uh, New Homestead. And then we're going to be using the Deimos 100DP Slim Docker. Pick that up from Deimos Star Yard. And the Teo Shipmed 200 Landing Bay available from Teo Astroneering in Neon City. Those are the only specialty parts. Once you have those acquired, um, head over to your outpost and we're going to build this at a landing pad with Ship Builder, which will have all these other available parts available for you there. Start off by placing down your Shipbed 200 landing bay into the four position so the entrance is facing four. Behind that, we're going to slap down a Teo Engineering 3x1 bottom A and a Companion 1x1 bottom A. These, I'm using Teo because they have the smooth outside edge with no connecting points, and this is an exposed surface of the bottom of the, of the jet, so I, I like it to not have you know, these clunky connecting points. You do not have to use a 3x1 and a 1x1. You can have like a 2x1 workshop or 2x1 captain's quarters or our armory. Um, you do have four spots to work with here. I, I use this because I just like to run through the engineering bay and have a ladder right here that goes up into my two control stations. So it's just a smooth you know, route through it. Changing the halves, you might end up with multiple ladders down here. The game's weird like that. Um, below your one by one, go ahead and connect your DP Slim Docker. And then behind the one by one, connect the Deimos hole A and a Deimos belly in the aft position. Above your one by one, put down a, another one by one companion way. Now these, all these parts here are not going to be shown at all. They're going to be completely hidden within your ship. So if you want to use Teo or Stroud or, you know, Nova Galactic or Deimos or Hope Tech, it doesn't matter. Whatever Habs you prefer, you can use. Uh, now I have a one by one here. That's because that's where my ladder is. And then I'm using two control stations. And basically because I want at least eight crew members on my ship. I hate to change my crew every time I change ships, so all my ships have to have at least eight crew members. So the cockpit I'm using is the Magellan 2. It only holds two crew sta stations, so I have two control stations. That gives me eight more, so that's my minimum eight. If I only had one, I only got six crew, and I have to have eight. Otherwise, it's going to unassign crew, and then I'm going to have to reassign them. So I, I always make my ships have a minimum of eight crew. But again, you can put whatever two halves you want, and it doesn't matter. And they're going to be hidden. So we have a one-by-one, one, and then we have a two-by-one, and then we have a two-by-one, and then we have the Magellan C2 cockpit. Now, behind that, we're going to consolidate the shield, the grab drive, the fuel, and the reactor all into one Deimos hole right here. So what we're going to do is um, we could, uh, duplicate this Deimos hole and put, put it up here, and then duplicate one out here somewhere to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. And now you're going to grab your grab drive. I'm using the J52 Gamma grab drive. We're gonna set that, set that on top of the Deimos hole. 
and then select this bottom Deimos hole and the grav drive and duplicate them. It'll drop down. And now it's inside the hole. So you can do this. Now we'll connect our fuel. And we'll drop that down two times. So duplicate it once. Select the bottom fuel tank, the bottom hole, and duplicate them again. And then delete the extras. Now we have our fuel inside the grav drive. Okay. One more time with the reactor. Drop that down twice. There's one. And there's two. Delete the extras. Now we're going to put our shield also onto that onto the hole. So we need to drop the shield down one time. And there we go. Now the shield's on there. Now what we're going to do is grab one of your 4330 engines and flip it. Flip it so you have these uh, little wings on the outside and then duplicate it and flip it so the wings are on the other side. So it's like this. Set that right on top and then duplicate that down. Okay, then you delete that. And we have this. All right, next we're going to grab Deimos uh, bumper four and a Nova braking engine, a Deimos bracer, duplicate that, put one back here. And then you grab a Deimos hole, put one here. A bracer, put that there, and then you can grab a Deimos bumper, snap it here, flip it twice, cancel. And then this part we can't put in here yet. So, what we're gonna do now is just uh, duplicate to the other side. So, duplicate all these parts. Now we want to put a Deimos bumper inside there, so go ahead and grab an extra Deimos hole, put it right here, attach the bumper onto it, duplicate it, flip it to the other side, select both of those bumpers and your bottom Deimos hole over here and duplicate down, the extras, okay, now we have our bumper in there. Now you're gonna grab a Deimos bumper port mid. And we're gonna attach that right here, flip it twice and cancel, duplicate it. And same on the other side, flip it twice and cancel. And now you can grab a Nova Cowling 2L in the SF variant. Snap that in place right here, flip it twice, cancel. Duplicate it, other side, flip it twice, cancel, and then you can duplicate that again, flip it, snap it here, flip twice, cancel, duplicate that again, change the variant, nope, don't change the variant, sorry, just select that right here. Out of the way. Duplicate this, flip it, duplicate that, snap it here, flip twice, cancel. Now grab a Deimos bumper, port four, attach it here, duplicate it, flip it, attach it here. Uh, grab a Stroud Cap B, put it right there, duplicate it, flip it. Put it on the other side.
and now grab a grab one of your SA engines SA 4330 now pay attention right here uh, have it curved in the, to this fashion okay duplicate it and flip it that's going to be the other side so grab this one we're going to put it in place here flip it six times and then cancel and now it's going to pop up and it's not going to be attached so all you got to do is select it and then accept and it drops it into place okay so now grab this one do the same thing flip six times cancel click accept okay and then now we're gonna grab another engine Slayton Aerospace 4330 SA 4330 place that down like this duplicate it and then flip it so that it's opposite like that okay this one's going over here this one's going right here put it in place flip it six times cancel select it accept place this one here flip it six times cancel click it accept. all right so there's uh, basically the entire middle of the of the plane now on the bottom You're gonna place in first, uh, right next to your docker. We have a Accu-Lander 11 landing gear. Now, these have angles on them. Let me uh, try to finagle this here to show you. All right, they have angles right here. So if you flip it, you don't want that. That's the other side, right? That's gonna go on this side, and then this. So you want this little beveled edge on the outside of your jets. So we're gonna use this one over here, and we're gonna use this one over here. So that right there, right next to, nope, right next to the docker. Grab the other one. Place that right there. Then you can grab some Stroud Cap A's and flip them to the bottom variant. And put one right there. Duplicate it. Change the variant. Put it right here. And then grab this one. Duplicate it. Flip it. And put it over here. Then duplicate. Change the variant. Okay, now that's basically the bottom, but we don't have enough landing gear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select both landing gear and this bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down. Then we're gonna select the top Deimos hole and these duplicated landing gear and duplicate them up into the proper landing gear position. Now we have two up there. So you can delete these red ones. Now we have two here and two here, and that's enough landing gear. So now uh, we're done with the bottom, and now it's so now it's time for the top. So it's pretty simple. At the back, you're gonna place a Stroud Cap C in the aft top position. Just slap that right on top of your grab drive and open the engines. And then behind that, two Stroud mid bracers, and then. In front of your mid bracers, you're gonna place down a Nova Cowling 2LTA, then duplicate this and change the variant to the four. Set it off to the side, snap it in place here as red, flip it twice, and cancel. Okay, then drop down a Stroud nose cap B4 top, slap it in right here as red, flip it twice, and cancel. Then you could grab yourself a um, 
Stroud cap aid. Place that right there. Grab a Stroud Cali 1 LPT and put that here. Duplicate flip. And put that on the other side. And then duplicate and flip the cowling. Put that on the other side here. Make sure that they've got the curves going the right way. Next, grab a Demo Spine F4, place it right here, duplicate it, put it right here, select both of those, duplicate them, and move them to the other side. Then you can put a Spine A down on the front and a Spine E down on the back, duplicate both of those, and move them to the other side. Now duplicate this, change the variant, put it right here, flip it four times. Cancel, duplicate this, change the variant, put it right here, flip it four times, cancel. And there you have it, that's, uh, that's, your, that's your F-22. Last thing you need to do is put on your weapons. Now for me, you, you could put weapons underneath, you got connection points, plenty of them. For me, I don't like my weapons showing as much as possible. So I'm going to hide them. I'm going to put them all right there. So I have all my weapons on one equipment plate. A lot of weapons right here. So as you'll see, I have four of those, four of those, and three of those. Or, well, yeah, something. These disruptors. So we got a lot of weapons, folks. Right? going to do is we're going to get all of these onto one plate. So what you want to do is bring in a, a Deimos hole and just put it inside there. And then uh, move your extras. Grab your equipment plate, and put it on your Deimos hole, and then you can delete the Deimos hole and duplicate the equipment plate so it drops down where you're gonna have your weapons. And now let's uh, just start with our weapon. Let's put one on to there, bring one up. I'm gonna spin this on the other side, and now I'm gonna duplicate that down. And then I'm gonna spin that to the front. I'm gonna duplicate that down. I got my four disruptors. And now I need four PBO 300 alpha turrets. So, and let's uh, duplicate that one. And then let's spin it. Duplicate that one. And then let's spin it. Duplicate that one. Four PBO 300 auto alpha turrets. And lastly, obliterator 50 MEV alpha turrets. We're going to need three of these. So we'll duplicate this one down. And then we'll spin it to one side. And then we'll spin it to the opposite side. Now we need to drop our shroud mid bracer into position to cover. So in order to do so, just grab one demo skull and put it here. Grab your mid bracer, catch it there, and then duplicate it down. Thank you, mid bracer, demos hole. Assign your weapons, and you should be nominal at this point. You can uh, you can name your ship. 
calling it the F-22 Raptor. And there it is. So, um, 1600 on the shield, holds maximum crew, we got 10. Uh, 30 light years jump, 100 mobility, 150 speed. It only has 240 cargo, but if you guys want cargo, honestly, on any of your ships, just throw your cargo in with your with your landing gear, or with your uh, reactor and everything. So, for example, we, we'll, we'll add some cargo, but it's obviously going to take away from our mobility. But just to show you, let's just grab some Galleon S2 openers, right? And uh, just grab Deimos hull. All right, let's duplicate this Galleon down in inside our our grab drive. If it goes up, that's fine. Just do it again. Okay, there's one down. These. Now you can see it's inside there. Deal doesn't really affect our ship at all. We're down to 88 mobility though. It's not really a big deal. If you want to do that again. There, now we got two of them in there. Now we got 3,200 cargo. 68 mobility. Oh, you'll have to add landing gear if you add that stuff. That's fine though, you can just duplicate these again. Same way we did the first time. Um, or even throw on some NG20 landing gears inside there for more thrust. So it's pretty easy to add in cargo as you need it. For me, I don't need cargo. I already got all my research and everything done. And uh, you could always have another ship for cargo. So that's your F-22 Raptor. Hope you all liked it. Hope this helped you out. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I have a whole bunch more ships that are going to be coming up this week. So if you want notifications on those, ring that bell. And until next time, everybody, have a great day. Have a great night. Peace out.